From the campus of Trinity Christian School, it's the soccer down here. Girls game on your Tuesday. Trinity Christian here in Region 4 Quad A going up against the Eagles of North Clayton. North Clayton coming into this action with a record of 0-5, 0-3 in region play. Losses to Mundy's Mill, Fayette County, Lovejoy, and Whitewater. Taking Riverdale to penalties last time out in region play before losing in the eighth round by the score officially of 1-0. And coming into this match on the girls' side, Trinity Christian coming in with a record of 6-5-1, and 1-2 one, one and two in region play here in Region 4 Quad A. And with their schedule coming in to this particular matchup, once again out of the blocks, coming out of 1-1-1, one, one one, then you end up with a three-game winning streak beating Upson Lee in tournament play, then beating Trinity Christian School of Dublin in Griffin, then beating Landmark Christian, losing to Northwest Whitfield, turning around, getting two more wins against Heritage and Fayette County. Fayette County starting your region play, then losses in region at home to LaGrange and losing 3-1 to Whitewater. And that sets us up where we are today, 6-5-1, and 1-2 one, one in region Four quad A going up against 0 and 5 and 0 and 3 here with North Clayton. Carl DeRosier and the visitors coming to Sharpsburg with a lineup setting up to be a 4 4 2 in Net Cetera Pogue. Your back line Coco Akpa, Fatima Kuyate, Belinda Amaya, and Hasa Toure. Your midfield four Gabriela Escobar, Laura Sofia Contreras Pachon, Dionce Cisse, and Cynthia Kuti. Your two up top Alicia Waller and Serenity Oliver. For Trinity Christian, who will be in their all-purple outfits for TCS. Starting lineup in net will be Lily Wozniak, the sophomore. It'll be a back four and a 4-3-3. Four, four three, three. From left to right, you will be picturing in your mind's eye, Molly New will be your outside back on the left-hand side. Your center back's Olivia Osi, wearing the captain's armband, and Sienna Johnson. Your outside back on the right will be Anna Grace Moore. In the midfield, your def- your defensive midfielder will be Kristen Savoy, one of the two Savoy twins. A lot of young players for Lance Duncan, the head coach. A lot of ninth graders on this roster, and he has three of them starting today. Midfield continues with uh, Ashlyn Ng and Molly New. Your attackers up top going from uh, left to right will be Emerson Refschneider, the junior, it will be starting off with uh, Aubrey Harrison, who will be uh, subbed out. She does have an injury, but she is coming out here for senior activities on campus. And then she'll be subbed out to very, very quickly. Then number seven is Ava Anthony. And there is your substitution. Getting the moment here on senior day was Aubrey Harrison. She gets the, the kick, and then she's immediately subbed out by Katherine Andrews, 22 as Trinity is in their all-purple, and North Clayton comes in their road whites, white jerseys, white shorts, white socks, all the way across the board. So it is all-purple versus all-white Trinity Christian and North Clayton. Throw 10 yards into the attacking half for North Clayton. And we'll try it again with the throw from Laura Pachon. Picked off by Trinity Christian. They'll be going from right to left, or from left to right as you picture the, uh, from left to right. Right to left as you picture the match in your, in your minds I hear in the first 40 minutes. North Clayton will be going from left to right. Eagles trying to get it out of their back. A big launch early on, just wide to the near post, was Ava Anthony with the first shot on net about a minute and 15 seconds in. So Satera Pogue. Ball in hand for North Clayton. And she will send it forward with a goal kick. Black keeper jersey for Pogue. Getting the okay from the AR on the far side to get it in play. And you have an offside for Trinity Christian. So North Clayton will try it again just outside their own 18 to advance it forward from left to right. Once 
Once again, much like the last time that we had a, uh, a broadcast, you have a team that is chasing after their first goal in not just region play, but in play in general. First chance coming up, charging through the 18 and in for Jordan Rawlings. Jordan Rawlings with the first go goal on the Jordan board. Rawlings. Two minutes and 14 seconds in, and it is 1-0 just like that for Trinity Christian. So third minute for Trinity Christian. They get a goal on the board. And Jordan Rawlings charging through the 18 off the turnover. Gets it past Pogue to the near side, past her right hand, and it is 1-0 for Trinity Christian. Gabriela Escobar sends it back to the midfield. Escobar looking for a partner down the left-hand side. Doesn't find one in looking for Alicia Waller. Too far for Waller to get to it. It's going to be a throw over on the far side for Trinity Christian. Waller backtracking for North Clayton. Overrun by the defender, having to backtrack a little bit, but charging is Trinity Christian. Two on one there, regaining possession very, very quickly. Trying to set up and shoot once again, Ava Anthony. North Clayton can't get it out of their defensive third. And Trinity Christian can't keep possession, so it looks like it'll be a throw for North Clayton over on the far side, about 15 yards from center line. Waller thought about throwing it into Escobar, picked off by Trinity Christian once again. Anthony in the middle, tries to send it to the near post and picking it off as the defender for North Clayton. It was Belinda Amaya, and Amaya gives it to Satara Pogue. And Pogue pounces on it. Kicked up into the air, not a whole lot of distance to it. Overrun by the defense once again by North Clayton. Charging through and in for the goal once again. Catherine Andrews. Catherine Andrews. And Catherine Andrews with the goal in the fourth minute, 344 in. So two goals a minute and a half apart. And it is 2-0. Goal on the board for Andrews, one of the ninth graders here for Lance Duncan. And it is 2-0 Trinity Christian. Off the kick, Serenity Oliver trying to gain possession on the far side for North Clayton. Grabbed by Trinity Christian, working centrally. Now over to the right-hand side, intercepted by North Clayton quickly. Fatima Ba is now in for North Clayton, getting her first chances in the midfield. And you got a foul on Trinity Christian. As Pachon goes down for the Eagles. And a foul about 30 yards from goal. From the North Clayton goal. And I'll set it back a couple of yards from that point of contact. And Fatima Kuyate introduces it for North Clayton. Three on three over at the near side, about 30 yards from goal. Kuyate tries to clear, second chance clearance. Into the cleats of Belinda Amaya, turnover, and here comes Trinity Christian once again. Right toward the penalty spot. Set, shot, and goal number three by Jordan Rawlings. Rawlings gets a brace. And it is 3-0. About five minutes in. And so three quick goals on the board for Trinity Christian here as they chase after win number seven on the season and chasing after region win number two to try to even up their region record. Coming in with a record of one and two. Midfield playing far too, be far too behind and Trinity Christian charging through. A lot of space in between. Shot near po to the uh, near post. Once again, it was just wide by Catherine Andrews. Andrews chasing after a brace very, very quickly as the clock is now going at four minutes in. So it's going to be a goal kick for Satara Pogue. So 
So three goals, a handful of minutes in for Trinity Christian. Pogue kicks it forward. Picked up very, very quickly by Trinity Christian, trying to work on the far side. Through ball, nicely done, just outside the 18. And just misses high to the uh, upper 90 near corner. And so it'll be another goal kick for North Clayton. After this one, it will be the boys' match slated for 7.30. Jason Longshore will be on the call for that one. Very, very busy night in soccer here. Comes to the high school ranks in the state of Georgia. We'll give you all the updates that we can with a lot of the matchups that are on board. North Clayton clears it away from about 25 yards. Regaining possession very, very quickly. Trinity Christian and too much into the corner as Molly New was looking for Ava Anthony near the near corner flag. Connection couldn't quite be made, so it once again will be a goal kick for North Clayton. Once again, Carl DeRozier and his North Clayton Eagles bunch chasing after their first goal on the season. And already down 3-0 here as we are in the sixth minute. Over by the far corner flag, turnover, chipped in over the keeper. And trying to clear was Belinda Amayaw. It was last touched by Trinity Christian. And it will be a throw for Amiyaz, Catherine Andrews, one of the ninth graders. A very, very young Trinity Christian team is their last to touch. About 20 yards from goal here on the near side. Throw in. Looking for Gabriela Escobar. Trinity Christian there to defend once again. And it is Andrews. Andrews knocks it out. Escobar yields the throw this time. Sent a little further down by Laura Pachon. But picked up by Trinity Christian. Pass to the back and the captain, Olivia Osi. In net, Lily Wozniak. Wozniak to the near side, working up the left. Now into the middle at center circle. It is Jordan Rawlings. Rawlings over to the far side, center line to Ava Anthony. Anthony looking into the middle. Finds Ashlyn Ng for her first touch. And it sends it wide to the far post. It will be a goal kick as we're now here in the eighth minute. Three goals on the board for Trinity Christian. A brace by Rawlings and one by Andrews. Three goals in the first five minutes. And Trinity Christian with a lead 3-0 on North Clayton. Goal kick, not a lot on it. Picked off, and the chance is saved, pushed away by Satara Pogue as Ava Anthony tried to get it into the back of the net for goal number four. Close chance there for Trinity Christian, but Pogue tracked it down. And launches it forward for the goal kick. Anna Grace Moore gains possession, sends it back to Sienna Johnson. Center circle, Kristen Savoy. Intended for Jordan Rawlings, gets to North Clayton, but North Clayton can't connect on the passes. Now it's a four on one, trying to close it once again for Trinity Christian. And the pass from Ashlyn Ng went too far. It'll end up being a goal kick once again for North Clayton here in the ninth minute, 3-0. Pogue to the left, intercepted. And defended nicely that time by Belinda Amayaw as Ava Anthony, from about eight yards away, tried to launch it with the left. Amayaw got in the way, was last off of Anthony, off the ricochet, so it'll be a goal kick for North Clayton. Sent up the middle, once again picked off by Trinity Christian. Can they close the, the door and try to get goal number four? Trying to get around Amayaw is Catherine Andrews, and she can't quite do it. Defense is there for North Clayton. It'll be a goal kick once again here in the 10th minute. 
So correction, they're going to call a corner. It was last touched by Amaya, so it'll be a Trinity Christian corner here at the near corner flag. Ashlyn Ng setting up to take. Plays it short to Ava Anthony. Anthony in with the right, launches one hopper right on, and Satara Poe gathers it for her, for her first save here in the 10th minute. Pogue, big hop off of the turf here at Trinity Christian, but Trinity Christian wins possession, gets it to the back line, and Osi. Osi back to Lily Wozniak. Wozniak to the left-hand side, and Molly New. Closing the distance there was Laura Pachon for... North Clayton, but turned over once again. Trinity Christian, Ava Anthony. Down the left-hand side, Molly New tries to get around Amaya. She finally does, cuts in centrally, 25 yards from goal. Past the first line of defense, in with the left, and just missed. Chance was there for Trinity Christian, missing just wide to the far post in the chance to try to get goal number four. Catherine Andrews once again chasing after that brace here in the first in the first half. Here in the 12th minute with the score 3-0. Pogue up the left-hand side. First to get it is Trinity Christian. They'll go back to O.C. in center circle. And Sienna Johnson will get it all the way back to Wozniak, the keeper. Wozniak, the 10th grader. Ava Anthony. Anthony tries to turn down the right-hand side. And there was uh, Alicia Waller. Slows the attack down momentarily. On the right-hand side, Trinity Christian. Ball takes a big hop off the first pass. Trying to regain possession is Gabriela Escobar. She can't do it. Trinity Christian once again with the chance. Big launch, and Pogue is there. but it looked like the momentum carried her into the net as she grabbed the ball. And it looks like Andrews is going to get credit for goal number four here in the 13th minute. So the shot from Andrews on the right-hand side. Satara Pogue tracked it down, but the momentum in carrying the ball and catching the ball and then carrying it, her first two steps were into the net itself. So that makes it goal number four. And Andrews now makes it 4-0. O.C. gets possession for Trinity Christian. Ava Anthony up the right-hand side. Connection is there now centrally. Stepping in the way of the pass. Angeles Ariella or does, but once again, Trinity Christian gains possession, can't quite gain control of it just outside the penalty area. Chipped over Pogue and in for goal number five. And a goal from Jordan Rollins. Jordan Rollins gets her first half hat trick in the 13th minute. So two goals about 30 seconds apart. And we're now at five. Rawlings a first half hat trick. Andrews a first half brace. And 12 minutes, 17 seconds in. We're here in the 13th minute. We're at five nil. North Clayton trying to come out of their own half. Can't quite connect the passes together. And OC will get it all the way back to Wozniak for Trinity Christian. Into the middle, and Rebecca Savoy, one of the two Savoy twins. A reminder from center ref to start the clock, so we've got to make up about 10 seconds here. O.C. over to Molly New up the left-hand side. On the turn, Ava Anthony. On full charge, Peyton Daniels gets it back to Ava Anthony, left wing. 
about 30 yards from goal, Molly New. Into the 18, trying to turn and shoot. Passes are there, one, two on the connection, and sent in once again for and the goal. goal. From Emerson Rothschneider. And the Emerson Rothschneider with the goal here in the 14th minute. And it's now 6 0 to Trinity Christian. So once again, here in the 13th minute. Three goals in a minute 10 have taken the margin from 3-0 up to 6-0. Substitution for Trinity Christian. Coming in for Catherine Andrews is Kristen Savoy. So you now have the Savoy twins out there for the Lions here in the 14th minute as we just turn. Kristen Savoy. Sends it back to Wozniak. Wozniak works it up the right-hand side. Two-on-one advantage for Trinity Christian. Connecting some passes together. Kristen Savoy up the right-hand side. Margin closes for Ashlyn Ng. Ng finds some help out on the right. Chipped into the 18. A couple of different hops looking for Olivia Osi, and it trickles in. I don't think Olivia Osi got the last touch, but as it trickled past the Terra Pogue, it is now goal number seven here in the 14th minute. So the margin's now at seven. Substitutions for Carl DeRosier and North Clayton. Looks like wholesale changes for DeRosier. It looks like he's getting six to sub in with the margin at seven. So as the players for North Clayton get engaged, we'll mention who they are here on the roster. North Clayton trying to get in position. For the kick, and it looks like substitution for Coco Akpa is completed now for North Clayton as well. So North Clayton tried to connect a couple passes together, but on the right was Ava Anthony. Anthony back to Wozniak. Wozniak to Molly New. Up the left hand side, Emma Wargafak. Her first touch. Wargafak looking centrally. Connection was there. Molly New coming up from her left back position. North Clayton gains possession. Alana Robinson gets her first touch for North Clayton, but Trinity Christian is there quickly. Numbers are there for Trinity, Christ Trinity Christian. O.C. wants to get it to her right foot. She does and scores. And a goal from Olivia O.C. So Olivia Osi in the 15th minute makes it eight. And it looks like goal number seven was credited to her as well. So we're now at eight nil for Trinity Christian. Wholesale changes for Lance Duncan now. Looks like he's Sending in four players after goal number eight. And as was the case when Carl DeRosier made his wholesale changes for North Clayton. When Trinity Christian's players are engaged as well. Five changes now for Lance Duncan. After 15 minutes on the board. So it is a hat trick from Rawlings. A brace from Andrews, a goal by Ref Schneider, and a brace from O.C. back-to-back. That's your 8-0 scoreline here as we're now in the 16th minute. Trinity Christian playing it back to Wozniak. Work 
their way up the right hand side. Connection is there with MJ Tarpley, who is now in. OC with the touch, about 40 yards from goal. Comes up the right hand side, cuts it into her left foot. Looks like she wants to send it in again, and she does. Natural hat trick for Olivia OC. Goal from Olivia OC. So two first-half hat tricks, one by Jordan Rawlings, one by Olivia Osi, and we are now at nine. Another substitution by Lance Duncan. And Gabriela Escobar starts things off for North Clayton once again. Sent forward by the North Clayton midfield. But Tarpley was there for Trinity Christian. Played to the back. First touch for Reese Bailey, another one of the ninth graders for Lance Duncan. Back to Wozniak. Emma Kate Douglas, a tenth grader, with her first work. Up the left-hand side, Wargafak. She's got some help to the right, but she's also got a lot of space in front of her. Gets past the defender. Alana Robinson wants to send it in with the right. One hop, and it's right there for Satara Pogue, making the save for North Clayton. Pogue sends it up into the air. Defense is there initially for North Clayton, but trying to cut it to her left foot was Daniels. Didn't quite happen. North Clayton had possession temporarily, and it goes back to Trinity Christian, who will build out once again from Wozniak. Emma Kate Douglas tries to send it into the middle. One by Trinity Christian. Orgafak looks over her right shoulder, lost possession temporarily. Trinity Christian switches there from left-hand side to the right-hand side. Bailey wins possession from her right back spot. She'll get it back to Wozniak with the pressure now coming from North Clayton. Emma Kate Douglas into the middle over Rebecca Saboy. Picked up by North Clayton here. Scarlett Acevedo tried to find a partner, couldn't quite find one, so it goes back to Trinity Christian. They now send it in to their attacking half. Defense is there. Lost by Fatima Kuyate. Now toward the near corner flag. Wargafak sends it back to Peyton Daniels. Daniels centrally. A couple of passes back and forth. Lily Hayes. And they'll go back to center circle once again. And Sam Bethay is back there with Reese Bailey as well. Bethay, a 10th grader. Rebecca Savoy with the touch. Two North Clayton players tried to close down on her. Trinity Christian up the right-hand side. Too much in the pass looking for Lily Hayes, but regaining possession toward the far corner flag. Tried to get it in off the hop. Was a Wargafak. Bounces through her. And it was going to say, they're going to say last touch by North Clayton. And it's going to be a throw for Trinity Christian here as we are now in the 20th minute. Throw by Emma Kate Douglas. Peyton Daniels settles. Up the left-hand side, Reese Bailey now. Work by Lily Hayes. North Clayton's there to defend, about 40 yards from goal. Two players for Trinity Christian win the ball back away from Alicia Waller of North Clayton. Coco Akpa is there for North Clayton, trying to win possession back. For those that are wanting to attend Dylan DePriest's signing with LaGrange, please go to the multipurpose room again. Now here in the 26th minute. Signing with LaGrange. And the center ref is going to have a bit of a conversation here with the AR. The clock stopped at 20.40 here in the first half.
Once again, your margin, 9-0 for Trinity Christian. Natural hat trick by uh, Olivia Osi Gave the Lions goals 7, 8, and 9. Hat trick by Rawlings. Two goals from Andrews and a goal from Ref Schneider. Gets us to 9-0. Throwing over at the far side, about 30 yards from goal by Trinity Christian. Last touched by North Clayton. Throwing it in once again quickly. Four defenders there for the Eagles, but Trinity Christian comes away with it. Inside the 18, clipped back by Fatima Kuyate. Sotero Pogue couldn't handle it. And it's going to be a corner over on the far corner flag for Trinity Christian here as we reach the halfway point of the first half. Taking the corner, Peyton Daniels. And the ref has called the whistle. We have players from Trinity Christian coming over to their bench. And for North Clayton coming over to theirs. And so Lance Duncan. Heading over to the AR and having a bit of a conversation. So Lance and... One of the assistant coaches is there with the center ref and the AR. Carl DeRosier having a talk with his group as well at North Clayton. And if I'm hearing things correctly, center ref is going to want 10 minutes put on the clock. And from now, from the, I guess they're going to call halftime. So they're going to call halftime right here as we're now under a, past halftime here in the first half, past the first 20 minutes. So we're now officially at halftime with the score at 9-0. We have the, uh, the youth groups out here from AFC Lightning, SSA, and Peachtree City MOBA. So we're officially at the half. And we'll come back at the uh, tail end of the halftime to kind of set things up here for the second half between North Clayton and Trinity Christian. Your score, 9-0 to the Lions. We'll be back in about nine minutes to set you up for the second 40.
Have you noticed bad behavior has become normalized at interscholastic athletic events? Some fans seem angry. They lack civility toward one another. Some even get aggressive and unruly. Time out! What is going on? This has to stop. Let's not forget, school sports aren't just about winning. And they're definitely not an excuse to take your frustrations out on the official or the opponent. They're about teaching lessons like perseverance, respect, and empathy so students can learn and grow as people, not just as players. We all have a role to play in setting a good example for our students and teaching them these important values. So fans, it's time to step up your game and behave positively at Interscholastic Athletic Events in Georgia. This message presented by the GHSA and the Georgia Athletic Directors Association. Every year, millions of Americans are exposed to a contagious virus. What is this virus? It's stigma. Stigma promotes an environment of shame, fear, and silence, which prevents millions of people from seeking help. But there's good news. The National Alliance on Mental Illness believes stigma towards mental illness is 100% curable. So do yourself and everyone a favor. Go to curestigma.org and get tested for stigma. One in three adults has prediabetes. One in three. That means it could be you, your football buddy, your football buddy, or you, your best man, your worst man, you, your dog walker, your cat jogger. While one in three adults has prediabetes, with early diagnosis, prediabetes can be reversed. Take the risk test at doihaveprediabetes.org. Brought to you by the Ad Council and its prediabetes awareness partners. All right, folks, let's get started. Parents, thanks for coming. As many of you know, I'm Coach Mather. Tonight I want to talk about the season, of which I only have one expectation, that everybody gets stronger. When I say get stronger, I'm not referring solely to physical strength. Sure, we'll be in the weight room, we'll be running stairs, but we're also going to focus on developing mental toughness and grit because those are the characteristics that allow us to achieve greatness both on and off the court. So how do we develop those things? By getting comfortable with a challenge, by cultivating the confidence necessary to overcome adversity in all forms. That's why I coach. That's my purpose. Every member of this team can lean on me, and I'll teach them how they can lean on themselves and each other. This message presented by the GHSA and the Georgia Athletic Directors Association. We are the NFHS. That stands for the National Federation of State High School Associations. But really, what we stand for, together with the GHSA, are the 195,000 high school sports and performing arts students in Georgia. And so we stand. We stand for the runners, debate team members, and basketball players. We stand for their coaches, officials, and adjudicators. We stand for the drummers, football players, and actors. We stand for the golfers, singers, and swimmers. We stand as the national leader and advocate for these essential activities and all who participate in them and make them possible. Because it is our purpose to ensure that high school students get to play, perform, and compete together. To learn more about who we are and what we stand for, visit nfhs.org.
Got issues with youth or high school sports? Positive Coaching Alliance can help. PCA is a national nonprofit working to transform youth and high school sports so that every child has a positive character building youth sports experience. PCA provides live and online workshops to train double goal coaches whose first goal is winning and whose second more important goal is teaching life lessons through sports. PCA also has workshops for parents and high school student athletes. For more information, please visit positivecoach.org. Attention high school sports fans, are you an armchair official? You know, the parent or fan who constantly yells at the referees and loves to let everyone know just how bad you think they are. Well, if you think you could do better, then get in the game and prove it. It's time for you to suit up and make the calls where they actually count. Every sport in Georgia needs more officials. Sign up today at highschoolofficials.com. Welcome back to Sharpsburg in the Trinity Christian School. We get ready for the second half with Trinity Christian leading by the score of 9-0. First half was, was stopped after the 22nd minute and the ninth goal was on the board. So we've had the 10-minute halftime. Trinity Christian will come out in all, all their all-purple. North Clayton comes out in their all-white. And you had in the first half, you had a natural hat trick by Olivia O.C., the senior, scoring the last three goals for Trinity Christian in less than a two-minute span on the clock. Emerson Refschneider scored goal number six. You had a hat trick in the first half from Jordan Rawlings. And you also had two goals from Catherine Andrews. Rawlings, Andrews, Rawlings, Andrews, Rawlings. That got you to five. Ref Schneider got you goal number six. And then, as we mentioned, three goals, a natural hat trick in just under two minutes for uh, Olivia Osi. And that puts us where we are right now as the first half was stopped in the 22nd minute. And we've had our 10-minute halftime. So here in... The second half, Trinity Christian in their all-purple will be heading from left to right as you picture the match in your mind's eye. And North Clayton will be moving from right to left. Alicia Waller with the kick. And Gabriela Escobar now with contact. Back line for North Clayton can't clear. Ashlyn Ng is there for Trinity Christian. And the Lions will go all the way back to Lily Wozniak, the 10th grader. Building out of the back, looking up the right-hand side. Anna Grace Moore. Back and forth to Sienna Johnson. And once again, Anna Grace Moore trying to combine with Ashlyn Ng. It's not successful, so it'll be a throw for North Clayton. And it looks like the throw will be here on the near side, about five yards, just inside their defensive half, and it's going to be Fatima Kuyate for North Clayton. Escobar close by, Pachon close by. Two hops picked up by Trinity Christian on the defense. And Sienna Johnson with it. Passing with Kristen Savoy. A lot of space up the left-hand side. Ava Anthony chasing after another goal. Looking for support. She ends up with it. Working a 1-2 on the left-hand side, about 10 yards away from the corner flag. Anthony gets away from the North Clayton defender who was there with her. Jordan Rawlings with it. She'll send it to the back. Inside center circle for Trinity Christian. Anna Grace Moore. 15 yards on the run, centrally. 
Cutting it back on the well, right to the left and up and over and in is Ashlyn Ng. And that's goal number 10. Two minutes and 23 seconds into the second half. And that will do it. So Ashlyn Ng becomes your fifth different goal scorer for Trinity Christian. And they beat North Clayton by the score of 10 to nil. North Clayton now 0-6 on the season, 0-4 in region play. Trinity Christian with the win. They now improve their record in region to 2-2, two 7-5-1 and two, seven, five and one on the season. So at 7-30, it will be the boys' match between North Clayton and Trinity Christian. Jason Longshore will have that. It will be a separate entry for those of you who are listening on the Soccer Down Here app. So set your notifications appropriately. Handshakes going on between the two teams. And the final score from Sharpsburg on the girls' match here on your Tuesday on SDH Networks. It is Trinity Christian 10, North Clayton nil.